Hey, what's up guys, this is Ransar2264, and this is a video I've been dying to make for the past year. I just haven't had the time to sit down and just do it. And now that I do, let's talk about this. But before we get into this video, I do want to say information about this subject is extremely limited. If anyone out there has more information about the squid slash kraken or the boat, the Joshua, I will gladly take your word on it. I'd love to know more about this. To me, it's just something interesting and sad at the same time. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> so we must begin at the beginning. What the heck even is a pixie woods? Well, in Stockton, California, at Lewis Park, a small children's plague area called Pixie Woods was opened one year before Disneyland in 1954 and throughout the uh, many a year has seen uh, many a success and it is a seasonal park opening in about May and closing in about October and they have uh, many attractions they have this giant serpent water thing and then they got a fire engine and a pirate ship you can walk around and dragons and knights and a merry-go-round and a little snack area and a little party area a little puppet show area they got all kinds of things little slides and all kinds of stuff and the two big attractions are a train ride and a boat ride both of which I have done and both of which are actually kind of cool and on both either one of the rides you could see the famous legendary boat called the Joshua. Now, what's even the what's why is there a boat in there and why is it called the Joshua? It actually has a very, very sad story. A three year old was diagnosed with cancer and he loved Pixie Woods so much after he passed away, the family of the child made and donated the boat with a kraken or giant squid attached to it in honor of their child, which I think is the sweetest thing a family could do for their kid. And I can't think of a more badass way to be remembered as a pirate, as a pirate ship and an epic adventure of pirates going up against monsters and stuff. And I'd say for about a solid, almost about six or seven years, the boat remained with the giant squid intact, and I have uh, many a picture that were really hard to find of the squid attached to that boat, and sometimes mostly submerged in some kind of green moss water. And uh, one of the more interesting things that has come up in the past couple years is the interest in submechanophobia, or also known as submechophobia, is the fear of man-made objects submerged in the water. It triggers a lot of pe triggers to a lot of people of monstrous animatronic creature things that are in the water that move, or sometimes don't move, and. After reading a Reddit post about it, I thought, you know what, yeah, I'd like to do a little bit more research on it. So, I looked up some videos on it, and in about 2014, 2015, the squid was gone, or I just couldn't find a video that had the squid in it. The boat was still there, but not the squid. So... A little while later, I'd say about a year or two, me and my friends, after a adventure at a convention, decided, let's, let's go check out the park. And we did. And we didn't find a whole lot, and we just kind of moved on. And then, I'd say about six months later, after another convention, I was like, you know what? Let's go back to Pixie Woods. It was me and my sister, and we both loved it as little kids, so we decided, oh, let's go check it out. And the fate of the boat is quite tragic, in my opinion. 
there isn't a whole lot that really needs to be said. It's sad to see something that I thought was really cool just kind of sit there abandoned. Eventually, I did get in contact with somebody who worked with the Pixie Woods volunteer organization to find out just a little bit more about the giant squid, hoping that they saved it, but no. The giant squid, or kraken, was taken off the boat and thrown away. I wish I could say there was something cool, like maybe it sink, sunk to the bottom of the lake where it still like, remains, or they had it displayed somewhere in the park. Unfortunately, that's not the case. It was just thrown away. Which, judging by a very hard to find video and really crappy quality of the giant squid itself, you can tell that it was looking pretty, pretty bad. So I can easily see how some individuals came together and went, okay, yeah, that, that Kraken needs to go. And the guy that I talked to also mentioned that the boat itself was made out of wood and eventually it just kind of rotted away, which is also kind of sad. And he had mentioned he'd love to do something with fiberglass and, he would, and he'd also like to get in contact with the original family. And this is kind of where the story ends. With the train and boat ride now saying that it was an abandoned pirate ship. Or a sunken pirate ship that has washed ashore. So it's cool that they're still incorporating it into the story of Pixie Woods, if that makes any sense. Which is still cool to see. It's just, it's sad to see something that I thought was just so iconic destroyed so and i would gladly i'd love to see any inspiring artist or any inspiring crew or team who would be able who would be willing to take on the challenge of honoring joshua and a lot of kids memories of that boat with the giant squid it's just something cool and i think everyone in some way shape or form thinks that going on adventures, fighting off monsters, piloting cool giant ships, it's just something universally cool. So, over to the future. Anyways guys, this is RenaSRT264, signing on my amigos, peace, and have a great day. And I'm off to go on an adventure. Let's go see if we can't fight some giant squids. Yahoo!